Residents in Donetsk sift through the rubble following suspected airstrikes by Ukraine's military. It's the latest sign of Kiev's effort to crush the Russian-backed resistance in this rebel stronghold. There were two strikes by airplanes. This is the first strike. The second one is on the other side, completely bombed. Local authorities say three people were killed in overnight shelling, while some 200,000 have already left their homes. Wednesday, Kiev denied it carried out the airstrikes. Meanwhile, Poland's prime minister is warning about the threat of direct Russian military intervention. I would certainly advise against violating Ukraine's borders and its sovereignty. This is bad for Ukrainians, for Russia, for the international community and the feeling of safety in Europe. The Pentagon estimates Russia has massed some 20,000 troops just east of Ukraine's border while Russia denies it. <laughs> Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced restrictions on certain imports in an escalating battle of sanctions with the West. And the Netherlands has announced it has stopped its search for remains of victims of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, saying it's simply too dangerous. As residents worry about the safety of their children, the UN estimates nearly 1,400 people have been killed more than 4,000 people have been injured in the fighting in eastern Ukraine since April. Ned Barker, Associated Press.